How does the mental acuity of political leaders like President Biden and former President Trump affect their leadership abilities? This question is of central importance as the United States gears up for the 2024 presidential election, given the recent speculation surrounding the cognitive health of these two prominent figures. Let's begin with President Biden. Over the past few months, concern over his health, particularly his cognitive abilities, has escalated. There have been instances of language impairment, multiple gaffes, and moments of confusion that have sparked a wave of apprehension among voters. The question of his fitness for office has been raised, and not without reason. From forgetting key details of conversations to confusing important figures, Biden's cognitive lapses have become increasingly difficult to ignore. His cognitive health has become a central focus of political debate, with every slip of tongue or momentary lapse magnified under the intense scrutiny of public and media alike. Now let's turn our attention to Donald Trump. His recent misstatements and moments of apparent mental confusion have added fuel to the fire of this debate. Take, for instance, his notable confusion between Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi, or his occasional of, factual inaccuracies. Like Haley, These instances have raised legitimate concerns about his mental clarity. People. When confronted with questions about his age and mental fitness, Trump's responses have often been defensive, rather than addressing the substantive concerns raised by his critics. The health of a nation's leader is a crucial factor in their ability to govern effectively. It's not just about physical health, but mental acuity as well. The ability to think clearly, remember important details, and communicate effectively are all central to the role of a leader. As we look ahead to the 2024 presidential election, the cognitive health of both these leaders remains a prominent concern. It's a debate that will likely continue to rage on, as the nation decides who is best equipped to lead. This is not just about politics but about the future of the country and the world at large. Historical examples of presidential health issues offer a unique perspective on the current debate. Let's journey back in time to the era of Dwight D. Eisenhower. His approach to his own health concerns is a lesson in transparency. When he suffered a heart condition, he instructed his aides to be forthright about his situation. He said, tell them everything, signaling his commitment to maintain public trust. This transparency not only bolstered trust in his leadership but also in modern medical practices, showing that health issues need not be a disqualifier for the highest office. Now, let's shift gears to Franklin D. Roosevelt, a leader who, despite suffering from polio, showcased remarkable resilience. However, his physical stamina was dramatically reduced, casting a shadow over his fitness for a fourth term. His case underscores the delicate balance between leadership capacity and physical limitations. In his book titled Becoming FDR, The Personal Crisis That Made a President, Jonathan Darman highlights this tension. His physical stamina was dramatically reduced, emphasizing the nuanced considerations in assessing a leader's ability to govern effectively. Our historical journey wouldn't be complete without discussing Ronald Reagan and Woodrow Wilson. These two leaders provide contrasting examples of how presidential health crises can be managed. Reagan, during his 1984 re-election campaign, used humor as a tool to deflect concerns about his age, a tactic that resonated with voters. On the other hand, Wilson's undisclosed illness led to a crisis that was largely managed by his wife and aides, a situation that raises questions about the role of a leader's entourage in managing health crises. Today, we find ourselves in a similar predicament, with concerns about the mental acuity of both President Biden and former President Trump. The lessons from history remind us of the importance of transparency. The way Eisenhower handled his health concerns serves as an example for current leaders to be open about their health issues. Roosevelt's resilience, despite his health challenges, is an inspiration, but also a cautionary tale about the balance between physical health and the capacity to lead. Reagan's humor and Wilson's secrecy offer two different paths for managing health concerns. Reagan's approach was to I confront the issue head-on, using wit to ease concerns. To Wilson's approach, however, depended on secrecy purposes. and the actions My of those close to him. These contrasting strategies highlight the role of a leader's inner circle in managing health concerns and the importance of their commitment to uphold the highest leadership standards. As we approach the 2024 presidential election, these historical examples serve as a guide. They remind us of the importance of transparency, the delicate balance between health and leadership capacity, and the pivotal role of a leader's entourage in managing health crises. 
The lessons from history underscore the importance of transparency in managing presidential health crises. The stakes for the upcoming election are high, with the winner assuming the role of the de facto leader of the free world. In a landscape where the mental acuity of both former President Trump and President Biden is under scrutiny, the role of their inner circles in managing this delicate issue comes to the fore. The teams surrounding these political figureheads bear a profound responsibility. They stand as the first line of defense in identifying potential cognitive deficiencies and ensuring leadership stability. Their role is not only to manage public perception, but also to ensure the well-being of the candidate, and by extension, the integrity of the presidency. Consider the case of President Biden. The instances of language impairment and memory lapses have raised eyebrows and questions about his ability to govern effectively. But what is the role of his team in this context? Are they taking steps to address these concerns? Or are they, as some critics argue, merely managing perceptions without addressing the root of the problem? Similarly, former President Trump's team is faced with their own set of challenges. His recent misstatements and apparent confusion have added to the debate about his cognitive health. Is his team adopting a defensive posture as suggested by some analysts, or are they proactively addressing the concerns raised about his mental clarity? The role of these teams extends beyond mere damage control. They are entrusted with the task of identifying suitable substitutes should the need arise and ensuring a smooth transition of power. This is not just about managing a campaign or a political career, but about safeguarding the future of the nation. As we inch closer to the election, the role of these teams in managing the health of their candidates will be under the microscope. Their actions, or lack thereof, will not only shape the outcome of the election, but also set a precedent for future political discourse. The reluctance or inability of these teams to acknowledge and address these issues raises questions about their commitment to upholding the highest leadership standards. The mental acuity of our leaders is not a trivial matter. It has far-reaching consequences for their ability to lead effectively. We've delved into the question marks surrounding the cognitive health of President Biden and former President Trump. We've seen how their mental clarity, or lack thereof, has become a focal point of political discourse as we near the 2024 presidential election. We've looked back at history, considering how past presidents like Eisenhower, Roosevelt, Reagan, and Wilson managed their health crises. We've seen the importance of transparency, with Eisenhower's forthrightness about his heart condition enhancing public trust. We've also seen the potential pitfalls of withholding information, as with Wilson's undisclosed illness, which prompted a crisis managed largely behind closed doors. We've also considered the implications for the upcoming election. We've recognized the high stakes, with the winner assuming the role of the de facto leader of the free world. We've stressed the need for the candidate's teams to acknowledge any cognitive deficiencies and take appropriate action to safeguard the integrity of the presidency. Now we must remember that mental acuity in leadership is not just about the ability to remember names or avoid gaffes, it's about the ability to make informed decisions, to think critically, to communicate effectively. It's about the capacity to lead with clarity and conviction. It's about the resilience to withstand the pressures of the most powerful office in the world. Transparency therefore is not optional, it is essential. Our leaders must be open about their health, both physical and cognitive. They must be willing to confront their limitations and seek help when necessary. Their teams must be prepared to step in and ensure that the ship of state continues to sail smoothly, even in turbulent waters. In examining this predicament, it is crucial to consider the role of the candidates' entourages in identifying suitable substitutes and ensuring leadership stability. Both Biden's and Trump's inner circles bear the responsibility of addressing any deficiencies in their respective leaders' cognitive abilities and taking appropriate action to safeguard the integrity of the presidency. However, the apparent reluctance or inability of these teams to acknowledge and address the issue raises questions about their commitment to upholding the highest leadership standards. As the 2024 election approaches, the choice between older candidates reflects the evolving landscape of presidential politics and the imperative of public trust and leadership. Leaders like Eisenhower, Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan, despite facing their health challenges, demonstrated resilience and effective leadership during tumultuous times. However, the current cognitive concerns surrounding Biden and Trump highlight the need for a nuanced approach to assessing leadership capabilities in the modern political landscape. As voters grapple with these pressing issues, they must consider not only the candidates' policies and platforms, 
but also their ability to lead with clarity, competence, and foresight. Let's ensure that this conversation continues with the seriousness and sincerity it deserves. Thanks for watching. If you like it, comment and hit the like and share buttons. Subscribe for future videos.